Of course, the TV itself has changed a lot over the decades, but it's still a fixture in roughly 95% of American homes, and a growing number of the ones that don't have TVs are still watching programs on other kinds of screens. Will the screen itself eventually become obsolete? So we're surrounded by screens. They're how we entertain ourselves. But how we'll watch them, the form factor is changing too. The size, the shape, and even the idea of needing a screen at all is evolving. I think one of the big changes we're just gonna see over the next decade is that we're gonna start to have intelligent conversations with inanimate objects. Is it gonna be on a gaming console? Is it gonna be in everything? It's gonna be in everything. Kieker, a French startup, thinks your future entertainment system will look like this. It's a projector, sound system, and security system rolled into one. So Kieker is kind of like an obedient dog. That's right. With but some really, bells and whistles. Bells and whistles, and just really useful. The sense that it can be there to give you your music, your TV experience, uh, and it can be away if you don't want to see it. Kieker's designed to do a lot, but it isn't perfect yet. Hey, Kieker, come to the living room. Hey, Kieker, show me the weather. Kieker, stop moving, please. This is like a petulant version of the Amazon Echo. <laughs> you have to say it over and over and over, but instead of Alexa, I'm saying Kieker. But you think there may be a day when Kieker replaces the TV? I think the TV has to be replaced by something because it's just too old. Like, uh, you know, the, the, the voice assistants, um, it's all about learning and trying to be better, to serve you better, as right. opposed to just be a blank plastic, you know, display. Turning TVs into something more than just a black box is a challenge lots of companies are tackling. Some are making screens more flexible or getting rid of them entirely. Others are designing screens to blend in. This isn't a painting behind me. It's actually a TV. It's called The Frame and it's made by Samsung. Now when the TV is off, Samsung provides hundreds of pieces of art that can be displayed, but you can also add your own. And you can even change the color of the frame itself. But what if your screen could actually talk to you? Some of the biggest advances we're going to see in uh, home entertainment are going to be virtual reality headsets coming into the home are going to make a big difference, augmented reality systems, and then also artificially intelligent characters that start to become part of games and other experiences. So you would be talking then to it, like a, a character in one of your games about something that you're watching? Instead of kind of saying, you know, hey, television, pull up video number three, you can just say, oh, hey, Sydney, what do you think we should watch next? And then the character will have some suggestions and the two of you will have a conversation. When these technologies get good enough, do you foresee a day when screens just completely disappear? It's sort of like, did television kill radio? I think just like AR is going to replace some screen applications, screens are going to survive and, and hang in there. So what will we be watching in the future? We're not exactly sure. I guess we'll just have to stay tuned.